Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. In front of you, you see the glorious hover sled, which was made over the, over a series of streams. It works oddly well, actually, and it should really be called the Medi sled, but I forgot to change the name. Well done, Lathrix. But today, we're going to see it no more. It is going to be destroyed. And from the ashes, reborn anew. That is indeed today's episode. We're going to have one last game with it in tier 5. And then we are going to be destroying it and remaking it for tier 6. Because honestly, I think we can make this a lot better in tier 6. With the extra robot ranking we'll be given. As the weapons themselves are quite... Um, are quite demanding of the old robot ranking being, being tier 6 by default with the weakest medigun. So before that though, like I say, we're going to have one last match with it, one last goodbye, farewell with our lovely hover slash medisled. Honestly, this is probably currently one of my, fav my favourite robots, so don't you worry, we're going to design it even better. It handles extremely well, it's very quick, and honestly... It gets the job done. It can also repair extremely quickly because obviously it's slightly over tiered by one tier for its um, with its guns, which is very very nice. Also, I do adore sleds. It, I'll put it out there: skis, sleds, whatever you want to call them. Skis, in fact, I think are possibly one one of the most fun, if not the most fun, movement types. And when you combine them with with hover discs, you just make something special. So back in a second to our very first match. Okay, so we're actually in a boss battle. Not the best last match, so what I think I'll do is after this match have another one, unless we win entirely. Because I've had an idea, I know what I'm going to do with this robot. We're going to make it a flyer, a flyer ski, a, f a flying sled. That way we can land and heal, or we can fly and help out our aerial comrades. Oops. <laughs> or we can accidentally turn off our hover blades completely without thinking and spin out of control horribly. Now, I want to be careful, because obviously I'm a medic, I can't really do much to this bugger. But also, we have to get ridiculously close. Well, here comes suicide. Eat lasers! Noodly heals. Oops, there we are. Hey, that was pretty nice, actually. Fairly easy, but I do think we're going to need another match to say farewell. As much as that was nice, I would like a proper match. It probably would be a little bit better. On the upside, the victory bonus was also a boss battle, giving us 22,000 RP. And from tier 5, that is not bad at all. So back in a second again. And here we are with our proper very last match with the hover sled before we um, scrap it. Also, something I forgot to note was, they've changed how the moving s sleds work, the steering sleds, the sk steering skis. And look how much they spin now, how fast they spin. My word, the twist on this thing is ridiculously quick. So yeah, let's discuss more what I'm going to do with this robot. What I'm thinking of doing is, like I say, making it a flyer of some kind. A flyer with an emphasis on the ability to land. So most likely, obviously, we won't have hover discs, but we'll have uh, more thrusters, uh, basic wings, so it can fly like a regular plane. That's, that's, that's essentially it. I want it to work like a normal plane, but with a decent ability to land. So if I want to use it as a ground-based robot, I can. The Arstotskan Glory, which is our tier 5 or tier 6 flying sled with um, SMGs, can be used like that, but it isn't that good on the ground. Once it gets to ground level, it sort of instantly becomes, well, not very good. Now, I want to go back, so I'm quite a fragile robot. I won't be able to take his lasers for long. Oh, wow, he's lagging a fair bit. Okay, well, there we are. Heal up our troops. There's a bomber coming in. Let's spot him so our SMGs can actually have a chance. Oh, for someone else. Let's heal him. Ink him in the bomber. And he doesn't go for us, obviously. He's going for the for the defend. And we cut him in half. Wow, that was awesome. Well done, lasers. Another the bomber there, which thankfully one of our teammates spotted. I think, I think it may be a helium. Is it helium? Yeah, definitely. But we've healed up our teammates. Oh, that other healer's been hurt. Where'd that bomber go? Hmm. Oops, sorry about that, sir. My fault. Oh. Oh, is he going to get him before he hits the floor? He is. He's, he isn't holding down fire. Oh, well done, sir. You indeed got the kill. Credit there. I'm going to go and explore. There's a lot of injured people over there, which I could help out. Um, I need to stop doing that. That's my fault because of the backwards thruster. We, we never used to have that, and it's causing all sorts of issues with us spinning out of control. Like so. So that will be nice to change when we have the wings rather than what we have currently, but there we are. Oh. 
There's a plasma tank and something else coming around the corner. I don't really want to die this late into the match. I think that's a medic most likely, yeah. There's a medic and a plasma. Let's try and help out our guy. Oh, there seems to be an enemy SMG as well somewhere. It's up there. Let's heal our guy and... Actually, no. Let's go full-on aggression against their plasma. Ah, oh, darn. End of the match, but a nice match indeed. We helped out a lot. We actually managed to hit a flyer and take out quite a bit of him. And we even did some damage to a fellow at the very end. Nice and aggressive. But yeah, as you can see, the controls aren't bad. Any stretch of imagination. They're just a bit... Um, once you've been playing a slower vehicle, they're a bit much to handle. It's very sharp on the turning and can very easily spin out of control if you don't pay attention. Which, let's face it, I don't really pay attention. So, actually, I'm just going to be back in a second and I'm just going to look something up. So it turns out, in Lathian, just going to go and check something actually translates to I'll be back in about three hours. Um, someone called at just the perfect time and I had to leave the house. So we're back where we left off with the sled and redesigning it, or at least beginning the redesign. So, let's uh, start taking things off, shall we? Now, I do love how this thing looks. I've always loved the aesthetic of the robot, and thus it's probably not going to change too, too much. But of course, we don't need the hovers, but we of course now need better thrusters. Also, the armor needs to be somewhat better, if not extremely better. Since we are going into tier 6, tier 7 is probably going to be our goal. I don't want it to be a particularly big robot, like I've said before. It still wants to be nippy and small and cutesy and effective, but it doesn't need to be well armored per se, just useful. <clears throat> It needs to be able to land and do its job and do its role and then fly away back into the ether to be happy once more. So since we're going into tier 6, let's use tier 6 aerophiles. And then we'll use some tier 6 rudders on the back because that's the easiest way I can think of doing this. So we'll try and keep a similar if not the same design for as long as we can. And as we go, we'll change it, particularly when we put the weapons back. As, well, flyers and healers, with me, have never had a good history. Got to be honest, I've never been able to do decent flyer healers. It just seems something that's out of my out of my um, grip. It seems that I just cannot freaking do. So this will be a nice challenge for me, doing something out of my comfort zone, doing something hopefully which amuses me. And you never know, we might actually get a half-decent robot out of the thing at the end which would be very nice. Now I could of course make this in tier 5, but like I say, I think tier 6 would be better because of the amount of p-flops we have, the amount of um, word I'm looking for here is going to be amazing when I eventually say it. Oh my word. I'm just trying to focus as well. And of course, yeah, the amount of kind of upgraded stuff we can use without over-tiering is kind of nice. That was kind of the original idea with this robot, not to over-tier. That's why it was actually done in tier 5 in the first place, as the original, original version was in tier 4. So it already went up tiers to make sure it's not too over-tiered, as I, I'm kind of sick of people over-tiering robots to get an advantage in sneaky ways. And this includes myself, by the way. I am very much guilty of this. I am no, I'm not an innocent party. I am dreadful for it. I keep on over-tiering robots when I don't mean to, and then realising that perhaps I'm being a little bit mean to the new players and the people actually in the tier. So let's try and remedy this a little bit and actually fix it up so we are not quite as mean to the... Um, to the less experienced players. Of course, I'm not saying I'm a good player, but certainly... So many hours of gameplay does give you a bit of an edge. A bit of an edge in the nuances of things. Such as designing your robots somewhat efficiently. Of course, I try to go away from hard schooling it, you know, doing things like triforcing and such. Just out of personal preference, I find it restricts design and it's not really my cup of tea. So the point being, I'm trying to make it in tier. That's really it. So if we can actually... Uh, I don't want to avoid tier 7 armor though, just because that's so damn awesome. Uh, see what I mean? I'm already thinking about how I could over tier it to be a little bit better. Just because I don't want it too big. I don't want it huge, but I want it to be viable in tier. And the problem is only using in tier blocks does make us a bit very, very large. I don't want that. I want to be big. Big and powerful. Large and in charge. Like in real life. A tub of lard. Um, yeah. There we are. There we are. So, obviously, I want the skis to be quite splayed out for landing. So, steering skis there and there. And then I... Now, do I want a double or a ski? Beforehand, it used to be a single ski on the back. However, because it's more, because we're more vulnerable now, I'm thinking two, because, sadly, there's only tier five skis, not tier six, etc. So, I'm thinking two in case one gets blown off. And they have the added benefit of giving us a little bit of armor. How much? 
Uh, a thousand arm, actually, they're very well armoured. Maybe three might be a good idea. It's like a triple on the... Oh, oh, I see, I see a tiny bit of an issue there. I thought that was one lower than it actually was. Also, another issue I thought, I actually want guns there. Oh, dear. That is actually a bit of an issue. They can't just have one steering. That would be... That would look and act rather bad, honestly. Um, how about, how about we increase the wing size, then, a little bit? Let's make it quite chunky like that. As that'll be like the main body piece. Um, how do I do it? Let's find out, shall we? Something like that. It seems like that is indeed the case. Three there, and then there's four on top. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then that's equal. Excellent. And let's figure out where the gun's are going to go. Um, spam tier six is probably the best idea. Perhaps one tier seven somewhere, just because of space issues. Again, I want to be quite small. Oh wow, that didn't give us any tier points. Oh wow, we could go f full tier seven. Hmm. Hmm. A curious proposition has came Lafrix's way, and now I'm confused, and everything seems weird in the world, and there's talking monkeys, and I'm doing a paper route. Oh, that's kind of creepy from the front, to be honest. Uh, let's see how it lands and takes off, shall I? Let's put some movement on first, and then figure out the rest from there. Uh, tier 5 and Tier 6 are obviously the tiers we're going to go for. If we can go for Tier 7, I may do. Let's just get six of those, two of those. And let's see where I can place those. I see. I don't mind overbuying things like this because I'll always end up using them. At some time or another, I'm going to end up going. Oh, I wish I had another thruster of X tier. So I, let's just overbuy. It's better to overbuy now than underbuy for later because that makes complete sense and is in no way absolutely stupid. And one there. There we are. And then, of course, we're going to want thrusters mo moving us up and down. Perhaps we can go shield heavy. There's an idea. Perhaps we can go... Oh, of course, I'll put guns there, can't I? Oh, that's not a bad idea at all. Maybe three tier sevens. Obviously, it is actually, with healers at least, it is better to have spam lower tier. Obviously, with restrictions since over six and you're completely wasting them power. But, um... Ooh, they even go there. Oh, that's an idea indeed. Okay, let's see how this goes. So it moves, first of all. I think we might need sideways thrusters um, to move the sled. And also, I don't like only having one sled on the front. Sorry, ski on the front. That seems a bit... I don't know. Like, it's going to be taken out in the first second. Also, it's going to be imbalanced, isn't it? Yep. It's going to act like a freaking bike if we do that. Not the best. However, it's controlling, okay? Honestly, despite the stupidity and the fact it's grinding on the floor because of how bad it is, it's actually moving decently. Question is, can it fly? Answer? Yes! Not the fastest creature in the world, but certainly a flyer. I wouldn't say this doesn't... Yeah, it feels actually like a flyer, unlike um, the walker hybrid, which I always find don't feel like a flyer because how heavy they are. This does actually feel just like I'm using a flyer. Which is very good, however, we need to do something about the freaking skis, because that is both funny and really bad. First of all, three skis on the back looks freaking awful. Please go away, middle ski. Second of all, you need to be moved, sir. Possibly to there. That does splay out a bit. That should control okay, actually, like that. Hmm. That's not a terrible idea. You can be a tier 7. Ooh, that looks cool. Having a big gun on top, like, poo, pew, pew. We are healing lasers. Yay. Oh, I can't do the lower tier there. That's good. Maybe that's a good sign. Hee <laughs> hee, because I want to. Um, okay, let's try it like that. I do have this horrible suspicion we might have to bulk it out a bit to fit more guns, which is rather upsetting since, well, I don't want it to be big. I've had enough big planes and big robots, I want something small for once, which isn't a freaking Reaper. Oh. Okay, and- Ooh, whoa! Whoa! Well, that doesn't do what I want it to do. Why is it doing the front thing? Stop doing the front thing. Oh. Well, it flies better now. Gets off the ground a lot easier. And landing strip now. Maybe... I don't know, actually. Oh, dear. Well, we're basically face planting forward now. That's... A lot worse than previous, it must be said. That is significantly worse than it was. But its flying's got a lot better, so... I mean, honestly, I only want the sled so we can land. It doesn't need to be that effective. It doesn't need to be able to move effectively. Perhaps wheels would be better. No, because then it's not the medi sled. It must be the medi sled. So how are we going to do this then? Well, clearly, 
I think the issue is they're too far back. They're not as far, far forward as they used to be. So let's remedy that by doing this and then seeing how that does. That should prevent it from going so tippy forwardy. Hopefully. Perhaps. If everything works as it's meant to. In my head. Oh, that's... Mm, turning is terrible. Oh, my word, turning. Okay, how about if we do... Non-steering sleds. Okay, I, th I, think, I think the problem here is we're not, they're too in the middle. So when I turn, they're basically... Shifting all of my weight and causing me to fall over. Of course, this does mean I can move pretty decently on the floor, which is the intention. I want a medic that can land, is what I'm going with, obviously. It's a medic that can actually land, heal something on the ground, and go back up. So how about, like, a little bit further out, just so it's further out in the back, like that. Maybe that'll be better. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. Well, little medisled, do you want to work? Same issue. Also, the fact is it, it tries to fly because turning is, is, an, is an action of the wings, which does cause it to try to fly, and that's what's causing the weird down thrust going on. Hmm. But still, honestly, it doesn't function too badly on the ground. It looks silly, but we don't plan on being on the ground much. It's not something that's meant to be on the ground. It's meant to just go back up in the air and help out the flyers. So perhaps we, perhaps we should focus more on the flying elements and having having the sleds as more of a so I can be on the ground without crashing. And you know, so it actually stops us. Because as you can see, we, 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 we can actually stop ourselves, which is a, quite a big deal. Now, can these actually fit here? Okay, let's go way out. Let's go as far out as they can. Like so. Now, we need more thrust. That is something we do need. So, tier 6 thrusters, and let's have one underneath here. Possibly even two. Okay, so we've got two tier sixes now at the back, which should be speeding us up a lot. And that could solve some of our problems, honestly. So what's that hit? That's hit in the front. Okay, let's try out that. The problem is, it's still pretty weak. So we're going to have to do something at the back here. So we're going to have healing up here, perhaps, like where my camera currently is, so we can shoot forward a little bit better. I mean, in... In the perfect world, in the perfect world, we're going to get one of those glorious moments where we, where we heal a flyer mid-air, and that's going to be so freaking cool. That's turning worse. Because the thrusters are clipping, oh dear. Oh, yeah, the thrusters are definitely clipping, okay, that's not going to work there. On the upside, the flying's a lot better, my word! <laughs> that extra speed has done wonders, but it's got to go somewhere else, it can't go where it is currently. There needs to be different tiers of... Ski. I really hope they change that so they actually have different tiers. Because I love the skis. They're, like I say, they're possibly my favourite movement type. But quite frankly, they're... It's a bit annoying. Is that actually on the same level? It looks like it is. Okay. But they're a bit annoying because you, you can't have different tiers of them. And that's rather upsetting. Okay, what if I do this? It's going to increase our weight. But we have just increased our thrust by a boatload, so that should be okay. Obviously, as thrust does translate into um, lift when you've got wings. So, oops, didn't mean to quite do that. Two there, two there, let's have two there, and we'll armour it up in a second. Properly, just want to see like where I can actually put them. Okay. And then one there, like so. That doesn't look terrible, actually. It looks like some demented fish, but I like demented fish, goddammit. So I'm okay with that. Um, so let's just do the prisms. Just, you know, they're lighter than the regular armor blocks, and they provide a little bit of protection. It's all good. On the upside as well, this is actually providing a lot of protection to our cockpit. I mean, because now, now from the side, you have to go through these things, which the weapon themselves itself actually has quite a lot of armor, which is nice. So that's not terrible. It's not the worst thing in the universe. It's certainly not the best by quite a long shot, but it's not the worst. Ooh, we, we do have the dwarf blade spare. Hmm. I haven't used those in like ever. Could I put the other side on it, maybe? Was that the same side? Does put the same side on. No, but that's not the dwarf plate, Lathrix. Oh yeah. Ooh, that doesn't actually look terrible. There we 
we are. Ooh, that doesn't look terrible at all, actually. I'm actually rather okay with that. Oh, okay. So we've got quite a bit of middle protection, at least. Our middle is protected. So, that's good-ish. I mean, to be fair, in tier 6, we probably want tier 6 freaking armor blade. Uh, electro blades, and honestly, that probably fits quite well. Now I've looked at it. Oh, that does fit quite well. Uh, but it'd be, it'd be better lower. Oh, why can't it fit there? Oh, it can fit there. Ooh, that looks lovely. That looks lovely, jabbly, that does. Let's do that then. Ooh, that is rather spiffing, is it not? Okay, yes, I'm okay with that. Let's use... Using Electro Plates of Lathrix. Not the best, um... Never... Y never use me as an example how to use Electro Plates. I don't like using them, for a start. So my experience in them is very, very low. So when I ever get... Like, even when it just fits, I feel like I've accomplished something rather amazing. This looks pretty weird. <laughs> Does it not look weird? Are you not entertained by the bulbous arse of this creature? It's like a healing bug of some horrible design. Oh, no, that's not good at all. That's <laughs> that's rather awful, in fact. That probably looks better. Oh, it does, because it's shiny. Um, shiny is always better. On the upside, that will protect the tail fins quite well. On the downside, it doesn't look the best. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm too happy with that, honestly. <laughs> No, I don't think I'm happy with that actually in the slightest. Oh, dearie me, dearie me, dearie me. Um, hmm. Yes. No. Like, you could design it to look better with those, but I'm not doing that. And, yeah. That would almost, that would work. I don't want it there. Oh, I don't like these things, these electro platey buggers. I demand space and things, and it's weird, and I don't like it, and it makes me feel uncomfortable inside. Ooh, ooh, that fits so snugly. Ah, can I maybe lift that one? Ah, I want that to be like, wrapped around it like a tiny little huggy blade of happiness. But alas, that is not the case. But that does actually fit so damn perfectly. It kind of has to go there. It's like, look, it that is protecting the side, and it's making it look thicker than it is around the um. Around the middle armor, which makes it look a little bit safer. Oh, if it's there as well. Oh, it looks so weird though now. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. I mean, normally my stuff doesn't look good, but now I'm like intentionally making it not look good, and that's not what I want. <laughs> no, no more on the arse. Stop with the arse armor. Stop with the arse armor. Quote of the day. Anyway, let's go into practice and see if this even flies. I just realized I'm putting all this stuff on and I haven't tested it in ages. You should always test flyers mid. Then, like, build as soon as you think it's viable to see what the new blocks have done. It doesn't take much to unstabilize a flyer, to destabilize a flyer. However, honestly, despite a bit of a dip on it, that's very stable. Actually, that's quite that's really lovely to control. It's a bit slow, though. I actually don't mind how it looks too much. Certainly not the best looking vehicle in existence, but the healing's got a lovely um, arc on it, and it's there's a lot of good things. A lot of good things there. Okay, let, let's test out his control when it's on the ground. The important thing is it can land. Oh, backwards thrusters. Okay, we definitely need backwards thrusters before the end. Um, let's try and turn. If I keep the thrust low, that actually controls really well. Oh, actually, that controls. Doesn't like turning so much, but... Okay, thrusters on the back, turning sideways would probably fix this. I'd imagine. So let's have the little thrusters I bought earlier. The tier five, I've already used them. Okay, well tier four, will just will do. To be honest, just needs to be a weak thruster pointing both ways. Oh dear, it doesn't fit. Oh really? Oh man, that doesn't. Oh, fine, I'll delete that. Goodbye. You can go there instead. There we are. That should help us turn on the ground. I'm not sure. It looks too crowded. That's the issue right there. It looks so... It's like you just shoved everything together and that is not nice. I, I like it to be... I don't know. It just doesn't look... It doesn't look bad. I've certainly seen a lot worse. I mean, I have seen some rather foul designs in my time, but... It's not good looking and... Even in my eyes, I don't mind it being subjectively bad. But this is almost ob objectively bad at this stage. 
But that just fits so well, I think I'm going to leave it, just because how much protection that's going to be if we're flying away is just going to be ridiculously good. I mean, look at it, it's a, it covers the entire back section from from fire from, from the, um, underneath. It's just too good. It just fits too well, is what I'm trying to say there. Can these fit on the side, on a side note? On a side note? <laughs> oh, do stop it, Lathrix. You are most amusing to yourself. Uh, well, at least I've armed up my seat a bit more there. Not really, not sure why I started doing that then, but I did, and it was a compulsion. Now I think it looks better in the world. Oh, tier, okay, tier 5s, tier 4s, facing backwards. One there. Uh, okay, should one there. Ah, one there, one there, and that should be our back thrust got done. Uh, honestly, it feels like this might be a good design for actual functionality, but in terms of looks, it's just... The more I do to it, the worse it looks. Simple as that. It's a matter of less is more, and I'm not helping myself out by adding more and more and more. And honestly, a little bit more thrust wouldn't hurt going forward, because it does feel a bit sluggish. Compared with what it did earlier, because the amount of stuff we've added to it. I mean, even, even, even electroplates are white. They're light white, but they are white. It's not slow. I can say that much. It's not the slowest vehicle in the world, but it does look like I've got a small under, like, main body that I've then fitted everything onto. I do think it needs more thrust. I mean, we're kind of showing that now, how, how much it's struggling to lift. But... That's, okay, oh, I, oh, this area is bad for even a decent ski, let alone me. If you don't turn, it goes really well down. Okay, backwards thrust to test. Well, it slows us down, that's the important thing. And... Wow, it can't even move us backwards. Yes, it can. I'm just stuck on something. Okay, yep, we're moving. Yeah, okay, yeah, it can move backwards. Okay, I must have been stuck. That's weird. Um. Ooh. And land again. And backwards thruster to slow us down. Certainly stops us, and that's the important thing. I think, honestly, this isn't a terrible design. Um. It's probably not the best in the world, but in terms of healing power, it's probably quite high, and it's quite chunky, armor-wise. It's not going to be the easiest thing to take out, but the problem is, I don't think it flies very... It doesn't fly perfectly. It doesn't fly badly. There's the thing. It's not too slow, but it's not fast. But the big issue is I'm having is it doesn't really control too well on the ground, even with the side thrusters now being in place. Actually... There's, well, the side thrusters definitely help. That's without a doubt. The issue is when I turn, it starts to lift, particularly on the back because of the because how tiny it is. The uh, aerofoils have an issue with doing that, which is causing me to kind of face plant. But honestly, that's not terrible. I mean, that's not the worst. Plus, if I'm standing still, it turns pretty well. So, and the guns are in such a good place. I I'm actually happy with it, honestly. I think I need to upgrade some of the blocks and such off camera, but I think that will do okay. Now, so as I'm afraid to say, we're not actually going to get into a game with it. I've just looked at the time, we've run out of time. And I could simply record tomorrow and finish off the episode. However, 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 I feel that it'd be best for me to do a whole full video of gameplay, and I'll probably be tweaking it maybe in stream. Tomorrow is Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, I may stream, tweak it tomorrow, and then I will do a proper video of just gameplay and maybe a few final tweaks. So this is the Medisled Alpha. Oops, Daisy. I just took a screenshot by mistake. Medisled Alpha. And this is what it's going to look like for now. It's not bad. It's, it, it's healing power is going to be pretty darn good in all honesty. Actually, can we shove tier 7s on the back? Oh. Oh, it's, t it's healing power is going to be intense. But it's not the most... It's not ugly. It just just just, look, just it just looks too busy. That's the problem. Actually, it kind of looks like a tech ship. Hmm, I actually feel I feel a little bit happier if I call it a tech ship, because then it's got an excuse, and I'm fairly certain the laser doesn't go through that. Plus, it looks sinfully bad, like most of the things on the ship. So yeah, this is it for now. I'm going to be doing more of it off camera. And this this is the promise this time, because last time I said that I didn't. I actually scrapped on the robot. I said that about. Um, I'm definitely going to do more off camera. I do want a new healer and I do want a new flyer. This is going to fulfill both. And I do love the sleds just for being able to land and heal our ground 
based compadres. So thank you for watching Stone Threats. I hope you've found this enjoyable. If you have, a like, a favourite, share and all that really does help out a lot. Helps out me, helps out the channel, helps out everyone who likes my videos. And it also... It also inspires me to do more. If you'd like to know when I'm streaming Robocraft next, feel free to also throw to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Go and stalk me there and beg me for streams. I'll probably cave in after like five seconds of people harassing me. And that's it, really. Links below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Do have a nice day.